on improving leadership, let's talk about learning and development. The second key point is to learn and develop. If the team is not learning and growing, then really they're dying. Therefore, your team needs to constantly sharpen their saw. There are always businesses out there who work harder, smarter, and quicker than your team. It's just a reality. And if there's no growth in learning or development, current or developing current talents, that is, surely one day your competitors will close the gap and surpass you. This also means death to your business. If you're not learning, you're dying. Stay ahead of your competitors by structuring learning and development activities for your team. The reason is these activities help them to be very efficient and effective in problem solving, time management, and prioritization. There are lots of activities that you can do for your team to help their growth. The first is apprenticeship. This means sending your team over to other organizations to learn from them. This can be a very useful and effective way to eventually develop a new skill. Second is career counseling. This is where your team members discuss with their supervisor a career plan and develop that career plan to identify areas for improvement or advancement and how those areas can be addressed and also when. Coaching includes working one-on-one -on -one with the learner to conduct a needs assessment, set major goals to accomplish, develop an action plan, and support the learner to accomplish that plan. The team member drives these activities and the coach provides continuing feedback and support. Continuing professional development is very beneficial so that your team stays up to date in the views and practices necessary to lead and manage in today's organizations. There are an increasing number of universities, colleges, and training centers associating continuing education credits or continuing education units with their courses and workshops. So why not leverage those? Sometimes your team doesn't have the proper technique to learn and retain new things. Organizations and other environments are changing rapidly. Therefore, it's extremely important to continually be aware of those changes and to be reflecting on them and learning from them as well. Basically, with continuous learning, you help your team to learn and how to learn. Courses and seminars are great platforms for the learning and development of new knowledge or skills on your team. Courses with hands-on experience are even better since it'll help your team apply what they have just learned, making the lessons even more effective. Another great way to encourage self-learning for your team is to provide them with opportunities to give presentations. For example, have a 15-minute presentation on a topic that adds value to your team and specifically what you're working on. Let's say there are seven people on your team. That would be a total of 105 minutes of presentation every time you do this meeting. And if you do it every month, then annually, it would add up to 84 topics and 21 hours of learning.